Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 8th of 2020. Well, it is titled Mare Frigoris. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a portion of the moon and the northern portion. And on the uh, our side here and central is what we call Mare Frigoris. Now the Mare are the flatter, smoother areas on the moon that have been flooded by lava. So we have a relatively smooth area here with fewer craters uh, towards the central portions of the image. And especially when you compare it a little bit further up towards the top of the moon, and you can see lots and lots of craters there. So the Maria the plural of the mare is the uh, are the areas that have been more recent on the moon. And that just means there are only several three billion years old instead of most of the rest of the surface, which may be four or four and a half billion years old. Now we can also see some other features here. There's a very prominent crater towards the left, which is the crater known as Plato. Now it's a very flooded crater. You can see it has a very flat bottom. And that means it dates back to around the time of the Maria formation, where it must have been flooded when material came up from the interior of the moon. So much as we have lava flows on Earth today, three and a half billion years ago or so there were lava flows on the surface of the moon and material would fill in the lowest lying areas. So you can compare that to other craters around and see the distinct difference on craters that look much sharper and have a much more rounded bottom that are relatively recent by comparison. So those craters that have very flat bottoms like Plato here are relatively old craters and date to around the era of the Maria formation. And we also see the um, the lunar Alps, uh, which are stretch across here around Plato. And those are mountains on the moon. Now mountains on the moon form quite differently than mountains here on Earth. Mountains on the moon are essentially remnants of craters. So a lot of what we're seeing is little bits of craters left over here that had overlapped and we're seeing some of those uh, left that stick up now as mountains. Now in between the mountains and in fact connecting the Mare Imbrium down towards the lower left and Mare Frigoris up to the uh, up to the right and upper portions are the is or sorry is what is called the Lunar Alpine Valley or Vallis Alpes and that is sort of a division between the two and in fact a valley that is about 10 kilometers or six miles wide and about 160 kilometers long or about 100 miles long stretching between these two areas. So here we get to see a number of different features on the moon, some of the craters, some of the mountains, and as well as some of the maria or flatter areas that we see uh, every day when we look up at the moon. So that was our picture of the day for October the 8th of 2020. It was titled Mayor Frigoris. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a very large array. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.